Hello and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. This is going to be a two-part series of counting in hexadecimal. Two parts because the first part we have to actually review what happens in decimal format and then part two is actually the hexadecimal part. So here we're doing a packet tracer and I'm only using packet tracer just as a whiteboard here. It gives me a nice uh, palette to draw on. And draw a box on your piece of paper. Just take out a piece of paper and a pen and draw a box that looks something like this. Now in this box, we've got uh, four smaller boxes and a single number, a single digit can fit in each box. So if I'm writing out the number 10, I would draw it out like that. Okay. If I'm writing out the number 99, I would draw it out like this put a nine in each box. So you all know how to count from uh, zero to nine. What happens exactly when you go from nine to 10? Well, we've got a nine right here in this box. And you can always think of this, uh, of nines of single number, single digit numbers is always having a zero in front. It's just a placeholder there. It doesn't actually change the value of this, of this number on the right hand side. It's just there. And its sole goal in life is to become famous and become a one. So it doesn't want to always stay a zero. It wants to move up in life. He wants to become uh, governor of California. He wants to become the governor of New Jersey, uh, the, the ruler of Russia or whatever. He wants to become something other than a zero. So when we add a one to this nine, so when we want to increment this up, so plus one, so we want to add a one to that nine. What happens here is nine is actually the last number in our series in decimal numbers. So after nine, it uh, it flips over to zero. So sadly, uh, you were now the president of the U.S. and now you're digging ditches. You now become a zero, and we're going to add a one right here. And so now this zero is very happy. He now becomes a one. So nine becomes a 10, and this is actually what happens here, is as we keep adding numbers, these zeros in front, you know, we've got other boxes here, they turn into ones, they, those ones turns into twos, and that's how we are actually adding. This is how a computer sees it. Now you as a human, the way you've been taught is you, you already know this, but uh, you've been doing it for so long that uh, you don't actually exactly know how this works, right? So just to recap, really easy way to visualize this is to draw a couple boxes on your piece of paper, put only a single digit into each box, and go from 9 to 10, and you can see that, okay, before right here in this box right here in the upper left-hand corner, I had a 0, and now that's equal to a 1. And same deal happens when, if let's say, we start counting up and now I have reached 19. So I got 19, add a one right here. And so that nine flips over. We add a one right here. And that one, he becomes even more powerful. He now is a two. So now we're at two zero. The digits are two and zero, but we all know that as a 20. All right, so that's just a quick review of decimal counting. That's part one of our hexadecimal series. In part two, we actually start with our hexadecimal stuff. Thanks for watching.